Greetings, unsettled souls! Alright, there, you got your You Are an Idiot music. Are you happy? Alright, so who's the dumb DJ? You know, it's hard to find a good woman. It's hard to find someone loyal. It's hard to find forgiveness. It seems here that uh, one person who went to jail found a forgiving woman. Unfortunately, now she too is in jail. It's the dumb day of the day. Woman arrested for explicit jail video visitation. A smoking gun. Floridian. 20, 30. Those Floridians can be frisky. Floridian, 38. Busted after online session with imprisoned Bo, 25. During a video visitation with her boyfriend. I mean, it wasn't at the jail. That's why I didn't give it the dumb's cap of the month. It wasn't that dumb. All right, it was dumb. During a video visitation with her jailed boyfriend, a Florida woman exposed her breastages and masturbated according to police who arrested her for the alleged lewd display. Allegedly. The visitation session occurred via the internet feed, and there was no physical contact between the inmate and the visitor, cops noted. During the visit, Ferraro and Thomas frequently talked in a lewd manner, speaking of sex, sexual organs, and sexual activities, according to the police report. Ferraro frequently flouted and rubbed her breasts, covered, showing the revealing outfit that she was wearing, calling her outfit naughty. It says that after Ferrero admitted how she repositioned herself and almost had an orgasm, Thomas asked Ferrero to have one for her, and she began to rock back and forth in her chair, appearing to orgasm, investigators allege. Near the session's conclusion, it continues, Ferrero exposed her breastages to Thomas, resulting in the visitation to be canceled by staff at the visitation center. Thomas and Ferrero are pictured, you saw them in the mugshots. At the time of the incident, on the 8th of August, Thomas was about a third of the way through his 30-day sentence for possession of drug paraphernalia and driving without a valid license. For one thing, we shouldn't even be arresting anybody for that. I, let me repeat that. We should not be arresting anyone for that. You should not have to have your license renewed every year. That's double taxation. But you're going to get your eyes checked. You can get your eyes checked and send that right into the doctor thing. I'm right into the DMV. Thank you very much. That's double taxation. Second of all, whether or not he uses drugs should not be up to the law. It should be up to him. Just the same, she's an idiot, and she made the dumb deal of the day. The Fourth Amendment matters, friends. I, I, I'm sorry if that's not politically correct. Uh, he was arrested during an April traffic stop while behind the wheel of Ferraro's car. She was in the passenger seat. They found a needle containing meth, and uh, Thomas reportedly assured Ferraro, don't worry, I told them it all belonged to me. He's not hurting anybody on it. Who, who cares what he's using? I'm sorry. I'm not, I'm not using meth, but if it was legal tomorrow, guess what? I still wouldn't be using meth. Funny thing about that. Ron Paul mentioned. Upon arriving Wednesday at Ferraro's Punta Gorda apartment, cops told her she was being arrested for exposure of sexual organ in public place. Ferraro then declared, I cannot believe that showing Cody my boobs would get me arrested. While Thomas's name has been redacted from the report, TSG has confirmed that he is the prisoner to whom Ferraro visited. She's going to get a misdemeanor exposure rap. Now, see, that seems ridiculous to me. It really does. Uh, but then again, she has been caught in the past swiping FedEx packages. That is something you should be busted for. Felony Porch Pirate. All right, friends, you know what? That's the dumb deal of the day. And really, I saw it and it struck me for a couple of reasons. First of all, it wasn't done in the jail, but it draws attention to, I think, what is a bigger problem. Not to be real serious with the dumb deal of the day, but I'm going to throw this out there. They get you for something small, and then they keep you in the system. They keep fleecing you. They keep taking you to court. They keep charging you for lawyers. They keep charging you for court costs. They keep charging you for things. Okay, the, the, the felony theft definitely should have happened. But we live in a world where our roads are over-policed and the people are fleeced for too much. I'm not saying that we need less cops. 
I'm saying that we need less cops doing these sorts of, of things. We do not need to take every nickel from every driver in every instance. And we don't need to fill the courts full of people who we've roped into the system so that we can take their money. And we've now, in essence, destroyed their life. That is the correct view.